Hi there. Welcome to MCSI. My name is Olivia. In this video, I will tell you about the different types of executables you will encounter in Windows and Linux computers. Being aware of the different types of executables will help you perform malware analysis efficiently. Let's start with executable binaries. These are programs written and compiled to perform a specific task like running an application or installing software. Programs may be written in languages like C, Rust, or Go. On Windows computers, executable binaries can have many extensions. They are also referred to as Portable Executables or PE files. The most well-known one is EXE. On Linux computers, executable binaries also come with multiple extensions. If the extension does not exist, then the file command can be used to identify the file type. During malware analysis, a malicious executable binary must be decompiled to uncover information about its internal behavior. First, identify the file format. Then, load it into a disassembler like IDA or Ghidra. Also use tools like Strings, Process Hacker, and PE Editor to rapidly analyze the file. Finally, manually decompile the malware and recover how the key features work. Scripts are programs that contain a sequence of commands to be executed. They are not compiled and can be executed directly. On Windows computers, simple scripts have the BAT or CMD extension. PowerShell scripts have the PS1 extension. Windows also comes with engines to execute JavaScript and Visual Basic scripts. All these are frequently used by malware. On Linux computers, scripts have the SH extension. A script is simply a text file with the executable permissions set. To uncover the behavior of malicious scripts, it can simply be opened in a text editor. Application packages are used to install software on a computer. Each application package has resources like executable binaries, dynamic link libraries, copyright information, etc., packaged into a single file. On Windows, application packages have the MSI extension. On Linux computers, depending on the distribution, application packages have the DEB or RPM extension. When dealing with a malicious application package, it must first be extracted, and each resource must be individually processed. Learning how to analyze all the different types of executable files is crucial. Depending on the operating system you are working on, identify the executable type based on its extension. If the extension does not exist, or if it has been modified, simply open the executable in a hexadecimal editor application and observe the file magic number. Interpreting the magic number will help you identify the exact file type you are working with. If you want to know more about magic numbers, I invite you to watch another video on our channel. You will find the link to it in the description box below. If you like this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon.